Hello, hello, hello everybody. Tanisha here. I am coming to you guys with a bariatric video. They were recorded right before I had a weight loss surgery. So I decided to go ahead and put the videos up. But I wanted to go ahead and put this introduction. I'm still going strong. But I hope this information helps anybody who is considering this option to help them lose weight. Okay? I'm going to be honest and transparent in my journey and I hope this information blesses you. <laughs> Tanisha here coming to you guys with my, um, I don't know, bariatric journey dealing with hypothyroidism. And I'm really excited to share this part of the video because this is the next day. And after I had my consultations, um, my consultation, and from there the next day I set the rest of my appointments, all my wellness visits, as well as a visit with my endocrinologist, just because I wanted to see how this was going to affect my body um, with the things that I know I have going on. Um, which is hypothyroidism and then how that thyroid affects my body as a female. If any of you have a thyroid issue, you already know how that affects you as a woman. I wanted to know how that was going to play and if my weight loss surgery was going to play a part in that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to include some um, footage. Now this video I know has a, I'm not going to cry, it has a lot of tears because I felt so supported and um i am so grateful i felt so loved and so supported by the staff and so the people that my at my ob's office they are so near and dear to me um my ob went to my church okay for me for so i have known him from when me and my husband got married and all my children and stuff and um he was not my ob for all my children but um, I have known him and his family since then. So he's so near and dear to my heart. And I love going to his office because I can remember the nurses from when I was pregnant. They're still there. He doesn't have turnover in his office. They know me by name. They know me. They know me by sass and attitude. Like they, they are so fun and joyful and playful. And that's, that's so wonderful. And it makes you feel so good when you're in a safe space, especially when you're dealing with your body and, and womanly things. Okay. So, um, I felt so loved and supported by them. And then to top it off, I went to go see my endocrinologist right after that. And I felt so loved and supported by him. And I have known my endocrinologist since before I had my oldest son. So about 13 years. And when I tell you I'm grateful, um, I'm the same age as his youngest child. So he's always calling me a baby. And um, he's so awesome. And so he was, he gave me a lot of insight because I did not even know that they had been doing bariatric surgeries way back in the, in the late eighties and nineties. And, and so he gave me a lot of insight to that. And um, he said a lot of key things that were just so pivotal and things I needed to hear at that moment that I didn't even think about. Well, I thought about it, but I had never said out loud and he was able to just say some things to encourage me. So I'm going to go ahead and include that footage here. Um, again, I'm always mindful. I said, I'll keep saying it. I am guarding um, where I was then. I'm guarding where I am now, where I will be in the future. I just want to make sure that I'm sharing enough to encourage you guys, but not anything that is going to make me feel away. Um, and I'm really good. At, I'm always mindful of that anyway. But I hope that anybody who is considering this has the love and support system even from just your regular doctors if you can't get it from anybody i mean first of all you need it and so i pray um i will definitely be praying for those people in this that watch this video that are in need of a support system and going through any weight loss journey whether you decide to do bariatric or not um, and I'll probably type something up and include it. So if you go to TanishaKemp.com, I always type up prayers and post them. And I will have something for you to read and cry with me because I'll probably be crying as I type it. But I just pray that you are surrounded by people who love you and care for you and want to support you. And if you can't find it in your presence naturally, um, I pray that God leads you to a group of friends virtually or just through your doctors. And that way you can connect and feel that release and feel that love and just cared for because it's so important. 
it really is. So um, enjoy the snippets and I'll be right back. So um, I am riding around today. It is the 24th of July, the next day after my consultation. I got a lot of information, like I already said. And so today, I had simultaneously scheduled all of my health visits um, with my um, specialists. I only have endocrinologists um, and PCP as well as OB. I just wanted to kind of talk with them about it, get all my regular checkups done, but just kind of discuss with them my choices and um just get some insight just based because they know my history i am blessed to have been going to the same um doctors for the past maybe 15 16 years um, i was appreciative i got a lot of insight especially as it pertains to my thyroid and how that will affect my body going forward um for all parts um with the surgery and, and being mindful no matter which way I go. Um, I got some insight from my OB about the estrogen and how that affects our bodies when we gain weight and lose weight. Um, so that was some good information and how that also helped pertains to my thyroid and things of that nature. And um, I didn't need any insurance requirements to do anything obviously for PCP or anything like that, but I still just want to make sure you know, you want to dot your I's, you want to cross your T's, you want to pay attention to your jots and all your tittles and all that good stuff. So, that's a Bible verse. If you know your Bible, then you know that verse. Um, so, I just thank God. It's a blessing. I'm grateful. Everybody is very supportive and um, that knows, obviously, with the medical field, they are all been supportive. And they gave me some insight, even on the, my choice my choices and my options of surgeons. Um, I asked for insight about that as well because they know these people. They hear people talk about these people, you know, good, bad, or ugly, you know, water cooler talk, all of that's still a thing, but you know what I mean. They know. And they gave me their insight even on that. And I'm just so grateful um, because people don't have to do that, but when you are nice, people are nice to you. So, um, now I did want to download some of the couple of different things of the information again like I said I always record these videos I don't know how I'm gonna share them or at all but just for my reference I do want to download a couple of things that was I found out today my endocrinologist is so awesome he's so laid back and I found out today that they were doing gastric bypass surgeries back in the early 80s I had no idea um, so he was kind of just talking about that and his residency with that and how he dealt with that when he was at school and um, just some things that they encountered. Um, some of the one of the things that he noted told me this really awesome story. Um, I won't share it obviously because I don't know. Um, you know, the people involved are still around or whatever, what well, they business in the streets. But he told me this really good story about what something that he dealt with back way back when he was in school. And the main thing was they were doing surgery on a man who was well over 500 pounds, they wanted to get him down to 400 pounds. And as a result of that, they just were kept running into some stumbling box that couldn't figure out what it was. And eventually, they learned what the block was. It was just um, people around him were not being supportive of his new lifestyle, and they were feeding him. Um, sneaking him food and things of that nature um once they removed him from that situation he was very successful but however as soon as he went back into that unsupportive environment he was unsuccessful so he the main thing was he said all that to say you know your environment plays a big part of it um he also suggested that that um he said back then they were not doing um therapy in addition to the weight loss they were only combating it medically they hadn't paired the mental with it so he's obviously that's more common now but he um he gave his personal insight about why it's so important to do the mental work with the physical work so obviously it's gonna any tool you use is gonna work how you work it but going through the mental battles and getting your mindset to be adjusted and how you handle things how you deal with things that is just as important um and to your success and something else that he said that brought me to tears i'm not gonna cry as i tell it but he um he was like i just want you to give yourself some grace um he was like I don't want you to feel like because you are choosing to do this that you are a failure and or that you you know 
I haven't tried, you know, I, you are young. He always says I'm a young little girl because his, he has children that are literally my age, older than me and, and a couple of years younger than me. And his, a couple of years younger than me, like, like that's his baby and they're well over 30. Um, so he's like, you're still a little girl. You're still a young kid. So you have plenty of time. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I'm almost 40. It's really funny, but, um, you know, don't, don't be too hard on yourself. And during this process, don't try to rush anything. Um, as the weight comes off, it comes off. Don't try to rush it. Don't feel down if it's not doing as fast as you want it. Work with it. Don't work against it. You know, that was his main thing. What you can control, control. You can control what you put in your mouth. You need to keep that in mind. You know, so if you, this does not work, um, you know, be mindful that you play a part in that. You So you want to do everything you can to be successful, especially because you are paying for it. And, um, but the part where he was just saying, you know, don't beat yourself up, you know, don't feel like you didn't try, don't feel like a failure. I appreciate because I feel all those things, but my endocrinologist is so awesome. And, um, I appreciated that he said that. So anyways, that's just my tidbit. I just wanted to download that and I wanted to share that. To anybody who was considering this or feeling that way, you know, um, take his, obviously his advice from having done these surgeries on people years ago, having dealt with endocrinology now and how the body works, um, you know, to give yourself some grace. And I saw, I wanted to say that out loud so that I could have this as an opportunity as I'm always watching back my videos just to remind myself, you know, Tanisha, give yourself some grace and, um, you got this work with, work with it got this all right all right guys so i truly hope that you enjoyed those clips those moments from after my consultation I that those were helpful to you and if you are on this journey with me or if you are on this journey period whether it's just weight loss or bariatric or hypothyroidism i hope that you have an endocrinologist that cares for you and just acknowledges how important you are as a person like mine does for me and is so supportive even in this decision, um, he's, you know, you don't want a doctor that's going to run you out the room or somebody that's going to be dismissive. Um, when he said that I wasn't a failure, that I wasn't late, like, like all those things you hear, you hear those things and you, you think them, but not just that people have said them all my life. Um, so for him to say that it was just, it was definitely what I needed. And even as I'm thinking about it now, it's just, I'm so grateful because everybody doesn't have that. And I'm learning now just what really matters and having people, even somebody that I see four or five times a year care about me enough to, to speak life into me is a true blessing. And I hope that guys, that you have that as well. Um, I'm, I get that all the time from my husband and my children, obviously, and, and my, my close, dear friends, but everybody doesn't have that. So I pray that if you don't have that, that you do receive that in a healthy way, that is just a God-filled way. Uh, when I talk about God, I'm talking about Jesus, Daddy, um, but in a God-filled way, and I just, I, I hope that everybody receives that. So, All right, guys, so I hope that you enjoyed that video. There will be more coming, so you're going to see me in all different sizes. But the content is important. And I thought it was important to let me speak from where I was then. I was so uncomfortable and so unhappy. But God is a healer. And I'm so glad that I can look back on that footage. And I'm so glad I didn't delete it. And that I'm able to share it with somebody to help them. But that it's helping me by rewatching it and growing. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember to live holy, to love graciously, and to laugh often.